Jeffrey Epstein's associate, Ghislaine Maxwell, was convicted of five sex trafficking charges after her high-profile trial last week. This is only the beginning of justice for their victims. Joining me now is a man who has spent over a decade rescuing sex trafficking victims, including some involved with Epstein. He is president of Free Space, founder of ShareTogetherNow.org, Jacob Bullions. Uh, sir, welcome to The Chris Salcedo Show. What does Ghislaine Maxwell's verdict mean for victims of sex abuse, not only here in the United States, but abroad? Chris, thanks for having me on your show. Uh, two parts. Look, there's justice because Ghislaine's going to end up behind bars, and it shows that those who commit these crimes when they go into a, a, a court may potentially end up behind bars. But it was not a victory against the fight of sex trafficking and sexual exploitation because there's so many bad actors, quote-unquote, that did not get pulled onto the witness stand, did not go through cross-examination. Well, Mr. Voyans, uh, many big names are connected to Epstein, including British royal Prince Andrew. Uh, U.S. judges just ruled a confidential 2009 settlement agreement between Epstein and Virginia Guffrey, which is, is, is thought to reference the prince, will be released publicly next week. What big American names do you suspect need to be worried if Maxwell starts cutting a deal for testimony? Look, yeah, and that deal, the reason they want that document to, to be released publicly is it's, it's his only defense. Virginia Guffrey wasn't allowed to testify in the case. You know, prosecution said she shouldn't testify. So this is kind of the last hurrah from his team to, you know, prevent himself from being behind bars. But other big names that we know from the fight logs, Bill Clinton on the plane, on the island, so many Hollywood celebrities, all those individuals, Chris, need to be called in to being cross-examined. All of them need to testify, what did you see? Did you see minors? Did you engage? Because remember, for Ghislaine Maxwell to be found guilty on five of the six charges, one charge being the sex trafficking of a minor, it means that there were people who bought sex from minors, who benefited from her actions. So again, in our country, we're shining the light on the pimp, quote unquote, which is Maxwell, but those who are willing to pay for sex with minors walk scot-free and probably are buying kids today. They have to be called into the court of law, go stand in front of a jury, and let justice be done. Hey, I'm Rob Finnerty. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please join the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe, too. Hit the bell icon to be alerted to breaking news. And remember, there's a whole lot more on Newsmax TV, America's fastest-growing cable news network. Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.